Hello everybody, James with Love My Pups, My Breed of Supply. Today I'm going to do a video on staph infections. Staph. Staph infections. Staph. Not, not staph, but staph infection. Okay. So, staph infections, there is a, a bacteria that is on all of us. Um, called Staphylococcus, or there's different varieties of it, of it, but basically it is a bug that is on your skin, it's on my skin, it's on your dog's skin, it's on your puppy skin, and they are normally under control with your autoimmune system, keeps everything under control, and you don't have problems. But, you know, in puppies, when they're young and their immune system is not very well developed, they can have a problem with it, and you can get a problem with older dogs too. And... These kind of infections, by the way, are not transmissible, typically not transmissible between humans and, uh, and, and your pets. So you don't have to worry that you're going to be treating a dog that has a staph infection and you're going to get it. So the thing that I see the most common thing is somebody will say, my puppy's got acne. It has little bumps on its face, very typically on the top of its head. And those bumps can turn into little patches of hair loss. So you might have... Uh, you know, 10 or 20 little spots on the top of the head where they've kind of gone little, little white bald spots. And what's happened is that's basically folliculitis. It's where a staph infection or an infection has happened that's got inside the hair follicle. And so in a dog or any of us, you know, you've got a hair, and this is grown, obviously blown up like crazy. And that hair, here's the, here's the surface of the skin, and there's a sebaceous, sebaceous gland underneath that. Well, what happens is a bacteria gets in here and makes this whole thing become inflamed, and the hair falls out. And then it then leaves an area around this. So that hair then falls out like that, and it leaves an area around it that is then missing hair, missing some, missing some hair. So you get a spot right there. There's, there's a little white patch. Okay. So the question is, how do you treat this? Well, the first thing is you've got to determine exactly what is going on. Now, you've got to treat this the right way. Um, if it's puppy acne, if it's a spot on the top of the, spots on the top of the head, then what I typically do, the first thing I do is, is I treat with uh, medicated shampoo. Give the dog a good uh, medicated shampoo over its entire body, especially its head, probably the rest of the litter too, and see whether that helps the situation over the next three or four days. If it starts to get better, then great. Just keep on doing that. Give those, I mean, you don't necessarily want to give a dog a bath every day, but every couple of days, give a bath specifically on the, treat, on the areas that are causing problems. On, if it's on the scalp, every couple of days, or every day even, give that dog, the dog that's having the problem, a, um, a medicated shampoo that's not fixing it. Then it's time for some antibiotics, and that's time to go to your vet. Now, there are other kinds of staph infections that are harder to treat, and there's two different, well, there's a number of different kinds, but basically you can get lesions all over the body, and those can really start to become a problem. So if you start to see red blotches, red spotches all over the body, that requires a proper diagnosis. And at that point, I would go to the vet and ask for the vet to see, because there's a number of things it could be. It could be red mange, it could be, um, um, there's two different kinds of mange, I can't think of the name of the other one now. Um, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. But there's a skin scraping that you do to determine which kind of, which kind of, of uh, uh, a mite this might be that's causing it. So that's a different than a staph infection. Um, and then there are dogs that have staph infections for the rest of their lives, and there's ways to treat that with, oh, there's injections that you can give that are a combination of antibiotics and a dead form of the, of the staph bacteria to try and see if your dog can kickstart its immune system. But that's not the common situation. The, the common situation is you get these little patches, acne on the face, little patches on the head that have gone bald, and that is relatively easy to treat. And most of the time, you can take care of that with just a medicated shampoo, and if not, there's some antibiotics to treat it. Um, what have I missed? I think that about covers it. Um, anyway, if you like what we're talking about, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us, we'd like that. If we've missed some stuff, absolutely tell us about that. And of course, the most important thing is, is be good to your puppies. Bye, everybody.